there, this is Dr. Angus Pike here, founder and creator of What Actually Works, with a backyard health cast here that I've got uh, chickens all around me. So it's an organic, uh, free range health cast coming from you today. I want to talk with you today a little bit about um, the, the, the Charles Dickens book called A Christmas Carol. You might think, what's that got to do with my health and well being? Um, you might remember, many of us have seen that story about there's a, a guy in it called Ebenezer Cru uh, Scrooge. Um, and Scrooge is, uh, is given the gift of having a look at his life in the past and in the future, and particularly he's taken to his future, and he's shown multiple different futures. Um, he's shown a future that if he doesn't change his ways right now, and it's a bleak looking future where he is a, a, an old, a lonely man with no kind of friends and uh, really isolated from the community. And he's also shown a different future as well where he changes behaviour. And I, I, I got to think that this is a great process because very often when I'm talking to people about their health behaviours, is that this can be a great way of having a look about, you know, what might your future be like if you don't change? So, you know, that exercise program that you've been putting off for days, weeks, months, years, decades for some of us, you know, the fact that you've been thinking about kind of cutting down on your alcohol or, 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 or maybe you've been thinking about kind of improving your communication with your spouse, your kids, um, in, you know, whatever it is there, I want you to take a moment right now and just imagine that if you don't make these changes, what might your life look like in five years? And what might it look like in 10, 20, 30 years as well? Now, this is a process worth actually sitting down and taking some time to really feel uh, in, in its fullest and with great intensity as well. Uh, to imagine what, what, what those key relationships might be like. M imagine what your health will be like if you don't, uh, you know, and the, sittlest, the silliest little things that extrapolated over time can have the most massive and enormous impact on your health as well. And after perhaps taking a moment to see that future, then it's worth then actually taking some time to actually write down. And to write down with a, a, as vivid and as descriptive language as you possibly can as well. What is it, you know, what is it like? What does it feel like to, uh, you know, be older and lonely and, and overweight? Um, Eric Plasker has uh, written a terrific book called The 100 Year Lifestyle and he talks about in there that no one wants to die or, or, or get to 100 and be old, lonely and, and unwell and financially not able to look after themselves as well. So when you've had a moment to kind of think about that depressing future or for some of you hopefully you're going to think about this future and it's actually going to already paint a beautiful picture which will be enough to drive you forwards from there too. So if that's not a great looking picture, then for many of us, we really know the changes that we need to be making. And I guess now what the time is to do is, is slightly more pleasantly is take a moment now to think about what your future would be like if you begin to make some changes. You know, if you put in a little bit more time, effort and energy at work, what, how would that look years down the track? You know, is that more likely to lead to a promotion? Is it more likely more enjoyment? You know, if you actually spent some time with your kids regularly on the weekends, you know, took them to their, their football, their, their dance, whatever it is too, how, how, what kind of a difference would that make again? And then after you've uh, had some time to really think about that also, then perhaps take a moment also to write down that new future as well. You see, it's these kind of pulls, it's creating this kind of vivid imagery that has enormous impact on, on motivation, which is one of the pillars and just one of the pillars that'll lead to great behaviour change as well. So. That's a process there about looking into the future. I kind of think about it when you think about that Dickens movie. And there's plenty of movies that kind of run on that same kind of theme where we look forwards as well. So this has been Dr. Angus Pike here, founder and creator of What Actually Works, where we help people to get well and to stay well. So if there's been any ahas about this or if something's come up for you, any questions at all, then be sure to post them down below here. I'd love to get your feedback. This is what helps me kind of design these little videos and stuff for us as well. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yes.